Hello. I have two words to say to you. Let's begin. Hello, YouTube world. This is Logic Crazy, and my name is Jonathan. Today I'll be showing you how to make your first Java program. We will be only using command prompt as well as a plain text editor such as WordPad or Notepad. Before we begin though, you need to have the Java development kit, the JDK as it is, instead of, uh, normally people just install the uh, JRE, the Java Runtime Environment, which runs Java programs, um, but for uh, the pur purpose of programming in Java, you need to have uh, the Java development kit. And it does include, by default, Java. So if you do not have Java, you will now be uh, installing Java along with uh, the programming resources. So if you would go to this website in the comments below, and uh, once you are there, um, once the page is loaded, pick this first JDK download option. There are other ones listed below, several options, but the best option is this one. Don't pick one of the boxes, pick this JDK option. Download it, install it, and uh, pause the video. When you're done, uh, click resume. All right, now that we have finished that, let's begin. The, the first step would be to open a WordPad or Notepad. I have here Notepad, looks something like that, WordPad like that. Uh, whatever you use, it should be a plain text editor. Um, preferably don't use a Word or something else which uh, takes into account all sorts of extra formatting options. And you will paste these seven lines from the comments below into your uh, text editor. Uh, if you're using a different operating system, it will be different for you. But paste these lines in. Uh, in the quotes here, uh, feel free to change them. I have, for the purpose of just being different, written howdy instead of hello, which is the traditional hello world example. And uh, feel free to customize whatever is inside these quotes. Uh, don't edit the quotes themselves. And as well, you can customize this class name, the Java class name. Um, whatever you title this as uh, will be used later. So if you title this as Howdy World 1, from now on, you will save this file as Howdy World 1. And in the command prompt, you will be typing Howdy World 1. You have to be consistent with this class name. Save it as the class name or you will have errors, is the long and short of it. All right, so once you've pasted that in, we will hit save. And for the same sake of being in the same directory, uh, we won't go to a user directory. Let's go to uh, our main hard drive. In my case, it would be C. That would be uh, where the operating system is stored and such. Uh, pick your hard drive. Create a new folder in there, since it doesn't usually let you uh, save a, a file right to the C folder. Create a new folder. And we will save it inside, but before you save, don't save it as a .txt, save it as a Java extension. And the name must be the same as whatever the class name is. So in this case, uh, howdy world. Howdy world.java. Do not add a .txt to the end. That would be defeating the purpose. You want a .java extension. That would be the last. It ends in a .java, basically. And so we'll save it in C, new folder. All right. Now what we will do is navigate to that folder. Um, or just navigate to C, sorry. We need to find out where the JDK was installed that you had just done in the previous step. So uh, most likely it will be in something like C, Program Files, Java, and there'll be a folder called JDK, JDK, and then some numbers and stuff. Um, the reason I say to navigate here is because different versions will type in different numbers here and symbols, and so this number will keep this uh, folder will keep on changing as new versions come out. 
go into it and select the folder bin inside of it. And then go to this address bar above and copy the address. Uh, control C should do that. And we will be using that in the command prompt. To go to the command prompt, uh, do a run thing and uh, type in cmd.exe or in Windows Vista and 7. Uh, hit start and type in cmd and you should see it at the top, cmd.exe. You don't need administrative rights for doing this part. So the first thing we'll do is you'll notice that the directory is my uh, um, username directory. It could be different for you, but no matter, we will make it the new folder where we stored the howdyworld.java. So to change the directory, we type in cd space and then the directory where we saved the file. So in my case, c colon backslash. Don't do the forward slash. Remember, always a backslash. And then in my case, it's new space folder. And I hit enter. That's where my howdyworld.java is stored in. And next we will tell the command prompt where the JDK is installed. So we will write set space path equals percent sign path percent sign semicolon, that's a dot with a comma beneath. And then we will paste the address we copied um, of that bin folder. If you do control V, you're going to get control V symbol in command prompt, which is not what we're looking for. You want to right click and select paste. And that will paste in this. It should look something like that. And hit enter. Now that it knows the location of that, we will, uh, act, we will use the compiler to convert our text into something Java understands a little better by typing in Java C, that's the Java compiler, and then space and the name of that file we saved, which in my case is howdyworld.java. There's a bit of a pause. I'll show you what that pause does just for interest's sake. If you go back to computer and to this folder, you will notice now that there's a howdyworld.class file. That is the file that is uh, is read by Java to run. Um, so now we will run that uh, class file by typing in Java Howdy World. There's no point to put in an extension. Just type in Java space Howdy World. I hit enter and we see a happy howdy from Jonathan to the whole world, which is exactly what was in... Uh, what we had in within the quotes in our code. Um, and for you, it'll be personalized to whatever you have done. And that is pretty much the end. I would recommend deleting this new folder as you'll probably uh, just clutter up uh, your hard drive with that. Um, you have now created your first Java program, as simple as it, that was, using uh, very basic tools. And uh, hopefully this is the first step in uh, many more fun adventures with Java. I'll see you next time.